Spanner is a highly available, externally consistent and globally distributed database. Creating an instance and connecting your application to Cloud Spanner is pretty straightforward. But let's say you want to migrate your application from another database into Google Cloud Spanner. Let's see how we do that using Harbor Bridge. Harbor Bridge is an open source tool for migrating data and schema to Cloud Spanner. Harbor Bridge connects to the source database and inherently in a single unified interface sets up and orchestrates bulk load and incremental data and schema streams to cloud storage, processes with data flow, and writes it all to cloud span. And what's new with Harbor Bridge now, you ask? Minimal downtime migration, improved schema assessment and recommendations, G Cloud integration for easy setup and access of Harbor Bridge web. And on top of all that, now you can do terabyte scale data migration, which was previously not possible. In our demo today, we'd be migrating data and schema from MySQL database to Cloud Spanner. The database application we'd be migrating is a near real-time ball-by-ball stream of cricket data and calculation of target score for team two in case the second innings of the cricket match is interrupted by rain or other circumstances and not continued thereafter. This is calculated using the famous Duckworth-Lewis method and we are updating it for every ball of second innings. That way, at any given point, we would know what the winning target is in case the match is interrupted. Let's see how we perform this migration with Harbor Bridge. Execute these two commands from your Google Cloud command shell and you will be able to launch Harbor Bridge on the web. Your Harbor Bridge web application is up and running. Before we connect to the database, remember to enable your data stream and data flow APIs. Finally, it's time to see how Harbor Bridge is doing the migration from MySQL to Cloud Spanner. Three modes of connecting, connect to database with database details, load database dump or load session file. We'll choose the first method, connect to database. Choose the database engine, which is MySQL. Provide the host name, port, username, password, database name, and hit connect. And in the configure schema page, you can actually see the schema structure and objects from MySQL and the draft version of the same in Spanner. The Spanner draft version of configure schema is actually the workspace where we'll perform edits for the suggestions and recommendations provided by Harbor Bridge for the schema. In this case, the icons that you see to the left of table names indicate the level of complexity required for the conversion changes for the specific table. In this case, standard DLS resource table requires a high complexity conversion change, whereas all the other tables require minimal conversion changes. Let's select a specific table. And in here, heading over to the spanner section, you see the warnings. These columns will consume most origin spanner and also it allows you to edit the specific columns data types, a different primary key if needed and make the schema changes. Save and convert. It lets me validate and review the DDL before I confirm conversion. Schema changes saved successfully. Click prepare migration. It's almost time. The migration mode is schema and data. Migration type is low downtime migration. Target cloud spanner instance. Set up source connection profile. Same as the case with target connection profile and hit migrate. Everything else is taken care of automatically under the hood by Harbor Bridge. Wait for a few minutes until you see the message schema migration completed successfully on the same page. Migration completed successfully. Let's get into the spanner instance to check if the tables are all migrated. Get into the database, go to the tables section, and yes, we do have the tables from MySQL migrated over to Cloud Spanner. Now for the most interesting part, streaming in near real time, ball to ball, second innings match data into MySQL table. For this, I've written a cloud functions function in Java 
that kicks off the data streaming. This function also calculates the Duckworth Lewis target score and updates that into the MySQL table, DLS. So as you can see, it has already started updating to MySQL table and you can see the maximum target so far. It is still in progress. But in the meantime, you can go to Cloud Spanner and check the total count of records, which is continuously increasing as well. Once you've completed the bulk validation and incremental load validation, click End Migration on the same page of Hub Bridge Migration. At this point, we are approaching the downtime period of the migration. Once data validation is complete, stop writes to the source database. Wait for any incremental write to catch up between the source and Cloud Spanner table. This can be done by just validating the records for most recent updates in the Spanner table, just like we did right now with the Duckworth Lewis target score calculation. Once they are in sync, switch your application to point to Cloud Spanner database, perform smoke tests, and cut over the traffic to source. That marks the end of the period of downtime. Finally, click the cleanup button in the Harbor Bridge tool to remove the migration jobs that were created.